Hi, Taurus. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I feel like for somebody maybe dealing with a person whose name is Joe, Joseph, something along that line. All right, Taurus. First card out is a text message. It says communication news, direct message, or a phone call. Regret. Heartbreak. Wanting to communicate this. Communicate that they made mistakes. Uh, they've been spying a lot. You know the two of you have a soul tie. Social media. Okay, one more. Divine. Oh, let's do another one. Divine Feminine because this is probably you. Divine Feminine has clarity right now. You have clarity. About a return. Unexpected. Clarity over returning unexpected. Unexpected return to you or more to find out. So somebody's talking about the mistakes they've made. Okay, so they regret them. They feel bad. They feel weighed down. Okay, what are these mistakes? Four of Wands. You guys were happy and then they decided to just leave. They made a decision to go in another direction. Six of Wands. This person could have a lot of ego or pride. Okay. What are you going to find out? More to learn. You... Have a new beginning with the full energy. Something is coming in for you. Someone, this person, you seem to be happy. Not wanting to see a message. It's happy. Okay. Whatever this message is, you are happy. Okay. This might be a Leo, but um, hearing from this person, finding out that they're regretful, that they're sad. That they made a bad decision makes you happy. Finding out that they want to come towards you again makes you happy. So, also I'm getting for some of you. You might hear this through another person. I don't know why it's coming through that way. Um, I feel like they are talking about you because they're spying a lot. They may tell someone they made a mistake. You may hear about that. You're going to notice them on your social media a lot more. Maybe you've noticed that already. How do they feel when they look at you on social media? How do they feel about you, Taurus, when they look? They remember the past. This person is having a hard time moving on. All right. Maybe they remember the relationship, the commitment you guys had, or the commitment you guys could have had. Yeah, they're just looking at the past. All they do is think about the past. So when they go on your social media and they look at it, it reminds them of what the two of you had or could have had. But how do they feel about you? Like, how does it make them feel? Like you're on fire, like you're busy, like you're doing a lot. What else? What else do they think about you or tell their friends about you? That you're fun. Maybe you like to go out and have a great time, party. You guys just have fun together. Three of Cups is a fun card. What else? They do talk about you a lot, Page of Coin. Wow, maybe that you were a good lover if you guys were together. You guys were good in bed together. But look what's under the deck, too, the Two of Cups. I feel like this person has been spilling a lot. I feel like this person's emotional. And they've gotten a place that maybe they um, like even cry a little bit when they're talking about you to others. If you are dating anybody else, that could also be what I'm seeing here. Like They're really upset that you're dating someone else or sleeping with someone else. It really bothers them. So it's interesting because you're like very heavily on their mind, in their mouth, or like, that was weird. Like they're always talking about you. Your name is always in their mouth. <laughs> I don't know how it came out that way, but uh, maybe they say that phrase, but they were always talking about you. Your name is always on their tongue or something. I don't know. There's a phrase that came through there. So, wow. Some of you, they just like, they miss being around you. I feel like they miss your body. They miss parts of you. There's something specific about you. Your shoulders or your hair or your feet. Some of you, maybe this person had a feet fetish. They may have really liked your toes. Um, okay. What else? There's no shame in that. All right. What else? What else here? All right. So you make this person really happy. I don't know if you knew that because for some reason, I feel like this person was kind of like a dark cloud at times. I don't know if I'm feeling that. Like they maybe have been grumpy. But um, I don't know, thinking about you makes them really happy. Even the little things, like stopping for a coffee. Um, 
someone you used to have to go visit family. I don't know if it was their family or your family or something. They, they never wanted to do it, but you always made it better or just being with you made life better is what I'm getting. This person's in a very kind of like emotional state right now, I can tell by the things they're bringing up, the way they're talking. Um, they could possibly be a Gemini, Leo, uh, Scorpio. I'm getting a Cancer, Sagittarius. It could be any sign, honestly, but I mean, those are just some that are popping through for some reason. Okay, so what do they want with Taurus? What do they want? Well, you guys have good memories. You have the Seven of Coins is always like the past, what you guys have built, what you guys already have together, but what do they want? They want to move things forward. Hang on. Get the deck together. It feels like it's going to fall apart any minute. Strength. Yeah, this person is trying to be strong. They're holding it together. They're feeling emotional right now. I can tell. I can feel it in them. This person may have dark eyebrows for some reason. I keep seeing eyebrows in my mind. I don't know. Maybe they're yours. Maybe they're on point. Maybe you had them just done. Maybe you had them waxed or, you know, done for you. But maybe they like yours. I don't know. This person's like bringing up kind of like weird things. They, um, they're not weird. They're just not the typical in a reading. But there's certain things about you that they really like. They thought were sexy. Okay, what else? They want to start over with the Ace of Coins in a brand new beginning. They said they're going to do a better job this time. They're going to try harder. They're going to put more effort in is what they're saying. Okay, they want to try to be romantic. They can be romantic. Sometimes they would be just lazy, like lazy in love. Like they wouldn't put in the effort. Like they would sit around on the couch and, you know, play video games or just, you know, be on the computer. But they say they want to try again because they do miss you. They, they see how much time and effort you put into yourself as well to look good for them. Or maybe you cooked a lot for them. Or there are things you did that other people just don't do. And they're recognizing that about you. They appreciate that more. They see that you put in effort. Other people they've been around and don't do those things. In fact, they said they were around someone. I don't know if this is too personal. But they were around someone that just doesn't smell good. Like you would always smell good and, you know, put effort into yourself. Um, they're finding it difficult to be around other people right now. They're also irritable. Okay, let's get back to you though. Let's get back to you. Because I feel like this person could just kind of like go down a deep hole. Um, okay, let's go to this deck. We're going to shift gears a little bit on them. So they have a lot of unsent messages. There's a lot of messages that they haven't sent to you. They would type them out and then not just never send them. Okay. Also, they've gone no contact. This is, the card says silence. So this could be you too, though. Maybe you have gone no contact, but it's interesting because they're acknowledging that maybe that was a mistake. They regret going no contact. Um, they had a lot that they wanted to say, but they didn't. They say sex, good time. And believe in right timing, divine timing. Okay. Let me see what they would want to say. Let me grab this deck really quick here. Okay, because they have all these unsent messages. Everything reminds me of you. It's funny because everything does the good, the bad, the ugly. So if they're around somebody who, you know, doesn't take care of themselves, it instantly reminds them of you and how well you took care of yourself or put the effort in. Um, they're around someone also who doesn't have a sense of humor like you. You always made them laugh. I can't stop thinking about you. Yep, these are the things they wanted to say in text message that they never sent. They also said, I do care for you deeply, but I'm just scared you want too much. Sometimes this person would revert to just being lazy. Like they felt like they didn't know what to do or couldn't put in the effort or know what to do to make you happy. So they almost did nothing at times. And I don't know what to say to you. Yeah. So the messages that they didn't send were kind of a jumbled mix is what I'm getting. Um, what are they feeling right now? I'm going to try this deck. I haven't used this deck recently. What are they feeling right now? They want to move fast. Maybe they're running around doing a lot of things. It says, it says they're pressuring you, but I don't think so. Because I don't think they have even reached out yet. Could be a player. Don't Doesn't respect boundaries. Hmm. I think they just want to move quickly. I think they want to come towards you fast. I don't think um, anything else on that card is relevant at this point, but they're in denial. It says, can't let you go. They don't want to see the truth. Won't see the truth. Can't let you go. Feeling blindsided by something. 
they may feel like you have moved on or you're moving on and they don't want to see that. Um, show me the denial card, Taurus. Oh, I got two. Yeah, well, that's not very fast, but communication about moving forward, moving on. Have you posted something recently? Were you planning to post something? They're going to see it if you haven't posted it yet and be like, they got to do something. They got to come in quickly. So this may be what has caused them to feel this way. Some sort of communication. Again, if they're talking to other people about you, if you do have friends, family, coworkers, whoever in common, they may be saying stuff about what you're doing. They see you moved on though. They, I think they just feel like you've moved on. Hmm. Yeah, I get there's someone that they're talking to. There's a, um, ah, it's, it's bearing. It could be a guy or a girl. For some of you, it's a guy. Some of you, it's a girl they're talking to. Who's uh, kind of feeling them in on what you're doing. Okay, what else is this person? They could be drinking. Sometimes the Nine of Cups shows me if, if this person, or they could be dating very casually, but if not, they could be drinking, uh, going out to the bar, that type of thing. Show me something else, the Nine of Cups. They're sad, yeah. They could be kind of closed off to other people right now. Seven of Wands is under the deck. This tells them, like, don't come in my room, don't come talk to me. I'm, you know, sad. Page of Cups, Two of Cups. <laughs> Again, this could be talking a lot about you, telling other people. I do feel like there's just this emotional like wave over this person right now. Something triggered this. I think it was something you posted. Now, if you don't post things, if you're not online, somebody may have told them something. They may be going by your house and not seeing your car there. So maybe they think you're gone or you moved, you dated somebody else. Maybe you are. They're just very triggered. What is this? Okay, the woman, which is the feminine energy, which could be you is what what spirit it says you're on the road to success so i know not all of you viewing are feminine you're not all women but i just kind of read it that way to make it easy so if you're viewing this you are on your road to success in some way can you be more specific this could be on the success to reconciliation, getting back together with this person if you wanted to. If you're working on something else, which should probably mean something else too. Um, ooh, you're doing well. So there's the wedge card. This came out in Aquarius's. So I don't know if you know an Aquarius, Aquarius in your chart. Someone is trying to keep the two of you apart or trying to keep you from something. Can you explain that with one more card and then we'll clarify, that's interesting. But you know what I got when I got there talking to someone specifically? I did feel like if it was just one person, there could be someone who's trying to keep the two of you from not coming back together. Because I kind of feel like someone was gossiping and maybe even lying about what you're doing. So just be aware of that. If you like this person who's coming through this reading, if you want to hear from them again, just be aware someone else could be feeding them bullshit. And so you might want to take care of that, wrap that up. Okay, who is this wedge or what can you tell us? Law. Okay, don't take any risks. Be careful. Don't take any risks right now. So you're on the road to success. Let's clarify this right now and see what this is. Because this could be in some other aspect of your life. Okay, what does Taurus need to know? What is the success? You put in a lot of effort, a lot of hard work. You've also been holding on or holding back from something. Listening to your intuition, which is good. There's something here that you are keen on doing. You're excited, the Ace of Wands. This could be you, this could be them. It could be an Earth sign. Seven of Swords. Okay, wait a minute. Ten of Pentacles. Seems like there's some sort of financial endeavor, something you're moving towards that could really work. But what is coming between you and someone or something? A lot of talk, the three of coins, other people. Could be family, unfortunately. Ten of Cups can be family or an ex or something. Someone who's um, in your business talking about you. Again, this could be an earth sign, so take it as it resonates. Don't do anything risky. You're in reverse. Whoa. Careful, because if you get ahead of yourself, get angry at somebody, um, it's not going to go well for you. So don't lash out. Don't do anything. If someone is trying to keep you apart from your person, your dream, just let it be. It's not going to block you. All right. What is this? Don't do anything risky. 
Queen of Pentacles, going something from the past, an offer that could be kind of small, walk away from it, maybe an earth sign. This could be the problem here, this earth sign here. <clears throat> I don't think this has anything to do with your tarot reading, to be honest, unless it makes specific sense to you. I think the person who thinks about you a lot, who longs for you, is someone obviously from your past who's probably coming back around. But you're also working on other things in your life. Don't let family or gossiping, you know, um, friends or coworkers get in the way of you making any sort of good business deals, job opportunities, okay? And then don't do anything like listen to your intuition. Don't do anything risky. Don't do anything that doesn't make sense to you. Don't lash out. Don't, you know, get involved with arguments things like that. You came on reverse. I mean, this could be you too, obviously, masculine energy, but that's very interesting because in reverse, it would mean that you are overly focused on yourself, overly focused on your money. And <clears throat> that would be the risky thing to do. Keep a level head, get a second opinion if needed. Yeah, there's something here. Don't walk away from, uh, sorry, walk away from anything that seems um, risky or just Plain stupid. Interesting, Taurus. You got quite a few things going on here. What does Taurus need to know? One card in closing. You have, you know what to do. Deep knowing. Some of you, this person from your past who hasn't sent the messages, you really like them and you want to get back together with them. And you may know that in your heart of you maybe that is the risk that you don't want to take maybe you know there is no going back so you know in your heart your intuition what to do what the right thing to do is in the situation and yeah you could have people gossiping about you and talking about it but don't let it bother you okay because you're doing really well here maybe it's someone's karma to see you move on and do really well and you know dwell on the mistakes they made but they miss you and the good times you guys had, but I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, Taurus.